Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm Aiden Coletta. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The rejection of a holiday rebate of St. Mary's County Commissioners last month led to a special school board meeting Tuesday morning. This approved a new and reduced plan for the $1.5 million they tried to give the school staff as a reward for conservative spending through their health care plan. The original plan was to pay for teachers and other school staff health care premiums through four paychecks. That plan has been reduced down to two paychecks. In addition, two payments originally planned for retirees' health care premiums have been reduced to one. A concept site plan is being reviewed for a 7-Eleven convenience store and gas station on Great Mills Road. The store is being proposed in addition to two other 7-Eleven stores in the county, one in Leonardtown and one in Callaway. Both have been ardently opposed by some community members. Kimley Horn, a planning and design engineering consultant based in Reston, Virginia, submitted a concept site plan for the 4,050 square foot store that would rest on approximately two acres of land owned by VRE, Lexington Park at 21183 Great Mills Road. Earlier this year, 270 completed scholarship applications were received and, from these, about 130 scholarships were awarded. These numbers have steadily grown each year, but there is an ongoing need to help to fill the gap between applications and awards. To help fill this gap, the St. Mary's County Business, Education and Community Alliance, or BECA, is seeking scholarship to add to the 2020 Common Application. Scholarships can be started for as little as $500 and will make a difference for a student wishing to pursue advanced education. Becca can assist with creating the scholarship. New scholarships for next year will be accepted through December 13th, although anyone interested should contact the group as soon as possible. During a Tuesday meeting, the St. Mary's County Commissioners continued to question the Kerwin Commission after the superintendent presented a funding plan. However, the commissioners seem to be fulfilling most of what the plan is asking for. The Kerwin Commission, or Maryland Commission on Innovation and Excellence, is an initiative to provide $4 billion in policy reform over multiple years to Maryland public schools. A bill associated with the commission, the Blueprint for Maryland's Future, or Senate Bill 1030, provided increasing teacher salaries, teacher training, and free pre-kindergarten for three and four-year-olds from low-income families. Fans of Great Mills boys basketball team who flaunt to the Hornets' nest will get to see many new faces out on the court as the Hornets are a team that will feature just four returning players. Great Mills head coach Jeff Burrell said, We have three seniors, the rest are juniors, and one starting sophomore. We are young, but it is fun, and it will be one of those seasons where we don't know what to expect until the ball gets rolling. The Hornets would like to go one step further this winter after losing a home playoff game at, to St. Charles in the Class 3A South Region Section 2 final last season. Chopticon girls basketball head coach Joe Cook enters his eighth year as the coach of the Braves, but the 2018-2019 All-County Coach of the Year will face a new challenge this season. We are very young, Cook said. 20 of the 26 kids in our program are freshmen or sophomores. With a youthful squad this season, Chopticon will lean on his three senior captains to help lead by example with their experience in the program. Last season, Chopticon finished the season with an overall record of 18-7. Senior Captain Darcy White said, We just learned to work hard from last year when we went pretty far. We are just looking to work hard again this season. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm Aiden Coletta. Signing, signing off. off.